And another flamboyant character was in the news in February 1970, George Best. He ended a 28-day suspension in time to play in a cup tie for Manchester United at Northampton. United won 8-2. Best scored six goals. And the man marking him was the Northampton fullback Ray Fairfax, who said afterwards, why, oh, why did it have to happen to me? The only time I got close to him was when we went off at half-time and at full-time. <laughs> well, you'll see what he means now. Manchester United are in the dark shirts. Dixie McNeil. Oh, dear. Perrin forward for Kidd. In the middle is Morgan and Best. Book could lose it, it's Best! Georgie Best! Good jump then by Dave Sadler. Perrin through for Best. Here he goes again. Georgie Best! Charlton feeding Kidd. Best free in the middle. Willie Morgan coming over to help Kidd now. And a chance for Best. Here's the hat trick. There it is eventually. Well, well, well. Georgie Best makes it a hat trick. Brian Kidd. Save over then was Brooks. Kidd again. Here's Best. Number four. Georgie Best, just the tiniest touch. Touch for Kidd. Brian Kidd, Best going through the middle. He's on for five. There it is. And what a difference this man makes to any front line. There's George Best, two burns. Has Kidd forward on the far side of two unmarked men. One of them is Willie Morgan, who should get another goal here. No, Kidd does. Number four running is Clark. That's a good ball. There's Large. And now Dixie McNeil. It's there. Dixie McNeil gets one back. Kid who's twice been down with an injury. Is Crerand. Best. Here's the record. There it is. George Evest sets a new scoring record for Manchester United. Six goals in a game. As Kiernan moves in on four, five defenders, United defenders. Fairbrother. Cross ball, Large going in. And he's got it. Frank Large. But even George Best in such magical form couldn't get Manchester United to Wembley that year. That year the cup was won by Chelsea.